went online to the thing and saw all the dead people who voted by looking at their birthdays and counting up the years. Well, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs>right now that dude's running around shaking the change out of every pillow in his house which is no small amount of money as my pillows are filled with nickels if it's good enough for thomas jefferson then it's good enough for yours <laughs> i'm mike lindell aka mike bill guy it cures everything coronavirus hemorrhoids joint pain sleep deprivation it even acts as a steroid to help you build muscle Mass that you can fight a people when they come to your door and give them a little one too. Or you can become an athlete and win the Super Bowl with dumbers. <laughs> you know, usually we film late night in New York, but on Thursdays we do it from Callback City, baby. We have proof that Hamilton was wearing a pillow under his shirt, and everyone knows a bullet can't go through a pillow. Well, it can't go through a my pillow. Thanks, Mike. You can go. But I don't got anywhere to go. I found proof of voter fraud on Mars. The aliens hacked our voting machines so Joe Biden could outlaw Beanie Babies and take away the bears. <laughs> the cold helps the Lindell. As a baby, his first words were, but my friends are in there. <laughs> can you imagine Lindell as a golf announcer? Kepka with the approach. Here at 17, he's got to avoid that front bunker. Yeah, he got to stay out of that or a birdie's going to be impossible. Okay, now he's stepping away from the ball and he's looking over here for some reason. Oh, he looks real mad and oh God, here he comes. Run, everybody. The best thing about our pants is with a zipper on both sides. You're not going to spend the whole day thinking, oh boy, I hope I didn't put these on backwards. That, that would be me. I'm the one who told Rudy Ukraine interfered in the election to hurt Trump. I heard it from Sidney Powell and Hugo Chavez in a secret meeting that was recorded by Italian satellites. But also, you got to remember, I'm real tired all the time because my pillow sucks. Plus, I sleep in the woods and I got really nervous because of all the bears. <laughs> There's a lot to be suspicious about. To begin with, there are more than six of them, and not one of them is an actual seal. I haven't been this disappointed since I went to Soldier Field and realized they weren't real bears. <laughs> the best thing about permapants is you can go on the go, and you don't have to pull over and be in the woods and risk getting eaten by bears. I made so much money from permapants, I was able to buy a diamond ring from Stop ears. I also bought some earrings for my wife, Deborah. And then the salesman asked what they were for, and I said, Deb's ears. <laughs> the charcoal gives the pillow its patented rock like texture and helps you wake up with that fresh hickory smell. Anyway, I'll take two of your biggest hams. <laughs> you should know there's a guy peeping in his car out front, by the way. This ham is delicious. Usually I get my lunch meats from the Borson. <laughs> I once got kicked out in a quiet car at Amtrak and said, can I go to a regular car? And they said, you got to go to the loud car. And then they opened the door and they pushed me out of the train. <laughs> but I just hit the tracks and I bounce right back up. Mike, we're just not sure a guy who says he's going to stay up and live stream for three days straight without breaks is a guy you want to buy a pillow from. I can't sleep anyway. My pillow is filled with fire ants and broken glass. Now let me get out there so I can talk about Cyber Bear. <laughs> Run the movie, The Blues Brothers. Why waste money on a physical present when I could just give my wife the joy and delight of a Mike Lindell? Happy anniversary, honey. I thought you'd enjoy this impression more than some earrings from the beers. Where are you going? I got more bear spun for you. Oh, God, no. Oh, she's leaving me. Oh, no. Here come the tears. <laughs> Guys, bad news. The doctor called, and it looks like America has super high cholesterol. No more lunch ribs for America. I need you to switch who the president is. Mr. President, there's something you can do in martial law that I highly recommend. What do we do with martial law, Mike? Declare it. Nope, it didn't work. <laughs>
forced it and it didn't work. I tried to call Jam Bongino and Trunker Carlson and Sean Hammondy and none of them would take my call. I called the Fox and Friends, Steve Dookie and Brian Callamine. I even showed up outside the studio screaming like a lunatic saying, I want to talk to Judge Judy Janine Garofalo. <laughs> Don't put up the picture of me hugging the pillow like it's my lover. Not when I'm talking science. That's how I ended up with the case of Mike Lindell's My Pills. They were supposed to help me grow a full, luxuriant mustache, but I only ended up with one or two of the hairs. I heard they've been getting rid of ballots by going down to Santa Monica and dumping them off the piers. <laughs> nice when a new one turns up. Every time you think we're out. <laughs> Want to know how I got these scars? Sharp corners on uncomfortable pillows. I went online to the thing and saw all the dead people who voted by looking at their birthdays and counting up the years. Well, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice to finally road test the Lindell in front of an audience. Yeah. Crowd pleaser. Crowd pleaser. Did you see my new lion painting? <laughs> I hope the lion's not too big. We're bringing the case to them before Thanksgiving so we can reinstate Donald Trump in time to eat some turkey and watch the bears take on the lions. <laughs> I thought two horses dumped ballots in the road, but it was just regular horse dumps. <laughs> oh, darn it, I forgot to buy milk at the grocery store. I better go back before my wife realizes all I bought was a six pack of da beers. I don't understand, Pillow Master. Say your idea again. We're gonna melt down all the voting machines and use them in prison to make da bars. And how many states are on board, Mr. Lindell? Upwards of nine. So 10? There's about 10 for sure. That ballpark, yeah. Why won't you tell us the exact number? It's not important. Just please make my friend president again. You pretend to be a loyal wife, but I know about the affairs. And again, I know Lindell's from Minnesota and not Chicago, but uh, I don't care. It's tricky because you gotta pull it while you squeeze it. I don't know how that guy does it, but I've never seen him take a breath. <laughs> Ma'am, where were you on the night of the murder? And how many times did you vote in the election? Uh, well, not now, Mike. But I have enough proof to put her in jail for life. For the murder? No, for election stuff. And also you and me and everyone else. What about the charming British guy with the mysterious past? Oh, no, I like him. I like him a lot. Because he was in the movie with the bear. What is paper on steroids? It's paper, but you don't need a pen to write on it. You can just use your finger and it responds to touch and you can transmit it to a secure central processing server. Oh, it's a computer. I accidentally, I accidentally invented a computer. Oh, this is more embarrassing than when I thought I invented the pillow. Enter the promo code Sweet Dreams, and you won't just save the Constitution, you'll save an additional 30%. Hello? This is Mike Lindell, and it looks like Hannity's about to go to commercial, and I want the slot. Oh, we, we usually sell those a few months out. Do you want the $200 bucks or not? I can't believe we're living in a time with our very own Wiley Coyote. We're gonna send 10,000 pillows to Ottawa, and then I'm gonna tie myself to a rocket and shoot myself across the border. And check out my new product, Hot Tub Slices. It comes with a champagne flute and two professional models. <laughs> hot tub slices. We came back hot. <laughs> Take two weeks off, you let the brain rest, and you come back with hot tub slices. <laughs> and of course, the My Pillow guy, Mike Lindell, who has a habit of popping up at these conservative events like Mickey Mouse at the Grand Floridian <laughs> Breakfast Buffet, which is fitting since Lindell's actual head is the size of a mascot head. 
One day he's gonna pull it off to reveal an underpaid high school student. Hey, I never believed in any of that stuff. <laughs> Mr. President, here's a whole pile of papers I haven't read and they're out of order because I dropped them a few times on my way. I also spilled a full cup of coffee on every page, but they're totally real. I got them from a bunch of legal type people who told me they're basically lawyers, except they haven't passed the bar. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't love you. <laughs> You're a traitor, Robert Costa. Are they showing you inkblot tests? Like, and saying, what does this look like? The rigged election. And this one? Uh, the election was rigged. And what about this? Hugo Chavez, no way, rigged election. <laughs> I'm filing a lawsuit against election machines, fax mach vending machines, and those things at amusement parks that flatten pennies because one time I, I, true story, I put a penny, I can't believe I'm announcing it here, I put a penny in and it got stuck and I complained to Mickey Mouse and they kicked me out before I could go to the jamboree with the bears. He won Wisconsin, Minnesota, Pennsylvania, Old Jersey, New Jack City, Arrakis, Endor, Xanadu, and the one that has the flag with the bear. Guess which hand has the jelly bean? It was this one, but I also have one in this one. Oh, wait, it's gone. Somebody stole it. No, wait, I remember I ate it. Okay, sir, and did you pack these bags yourself? No, some guys jumped out of an SUV and gave them to me and sped off. Why? What's the problem? And I love Tesla top. 10 hair metal bands for me. Signs, signs. Everywhere a sign blocking out the scenery. You know the song. Anyway, let me back on Twitter. I don't got no friends. And I live in a van down by the river. Switched it up. Switched it up. You get 5% cash back on every vote and double points on travel and restaurants and concrete pillows when you choose Capital One, Capital One, what's in your wallet? No, what's in there? What's in there? Is that a ballot in there? Are you trying to smuggle votes for, for what's, tell me what's in your wallet? I'm making a citizen wallet check. Look, kid, it's the Mike Lindell balloon. Oh, stop crying, it's not him, it's just a balloon. Oh, wait, okay, I actually do think it actually might be him. Yeah, it's me, all right, they just tied some strings to me and filled me up with the air. That lady is crazier than a house rat, and I should know because you should hear the things the rats whisper to me when I'm sleeping under the stairs. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You rats want jobs inside a pillowcase? Oh, don't think of it as being stuffing. We need to live with outcomes we don't agree with. Now let's get those barges ready for the Bidens! Whoa, cool down, Ginny!